And here we are at Primrose Hill. An unearthly silence had fallen now, and in this brief respite, a miracle occurred. For here was my old friend, Sergeant Jack Carstairs, rushing toward me with news, unable to contain his excitement. Emily was with my family, and they had survived. But there was a problem. They were on the far side of the encampment, and to reach them, I realized I would have to make a dangerous journey across open ground. Before I could set off, Carstairs imparted terrible news. He had been present at a military briefing. One of their platoons had just returned from a reconnaissance of the Martian towers. Their discovery had shaken them to the core. In one of the towers was a master control that could be used to initiate Doomsday when all else failed. wonder what to do. Just, uh, smashy smashy. So, we are here. The final level of the game. It's a bit of a, bit of a doozy. I suppose. Rah. Let's go over here real quick. I don't know if I need to come this way. I can't remember this level because this level is very filled and such with the rage. Uh, when I played it the first time. Anything that I see that looks smash- Oh no! That looks like I should smash it, I should probably smash it. Oh, yeah, 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 that drops the boxes. Yeah, I do need to smash that. Yeah. I remember now. Okay, so we climb up here. I also remember you have to be very quick about it or else you will die. So that, that beam the game doesn't really bother to tell you, but that beam holds up that floor above us, so as soon as you smash it, you've got like five seconds to get off. Get off. Make sure you don't roll off that. I know, I've done that. I know I have. Alright. Jump. Now we have to go this way. Ah, for Pete's sake. There we go. This level is really just kind of a com culmination. I mean, it's the final level. They kind of test you of all of your of your skills. All right, this can be really tricky. Sometimes, like the boxes will shift, and he won't grab them properly. Um, I've also had it once where they landed at such a distance that it was a near impossible jump. Without, uh, without him accidentally hitting the lightning. Uh, oh yeah! <sighs> Something else they don't bother telling you, but yeah, this is a grab lift. I had fully intended to try and destroy the Martians. I realize now what a foolish and arrogant idea that had been. I'll the tower was higher than I ever imagined. I only had to make one misstep and would fall to my death. So, uh, this green stuff falling? Uh, very deadly. Uh, I don't know what kind of aliens would leave green stuff falling in their ship, but, uh, you know, it's whatever. Uh, they seem to shoot it all over the place. It's very questionable. Uh, what you need to do here, actually, is, uh, just lure the machine. This machine tracks you, so it'll go to wherever you are. So all you need to do is just lure it up here and then get down really quick. Hit that. Son of a... The reason I was hesitating... Finally we made it through, I just ran. Apparently you have to run, so... Alright, so right here, you, you need to kind of time this just right. No! Why would you roll? You need 
need to be able to jump over the one without hitting the others. Alright. Go, 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 go! Don't stop! For the love of Christ, you never do what I want you to! Ah! Alright, so... Wait for the next one. Okay, go, 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 go! Climb, wait, climb, wait, climb, wait. There we go! Da, 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 da. You don't really need to worry about that guy yet, so don't worry. This part is uber frustrating as well. Fudge! I don't. There we go, we finally made it. I think we still have to deal with the yeah, ass but we're getting there. Gosh, I don't know anyone that's ever gonna get the- Ah, uh, uh, mm. uh, I wish this game had more precise controls. Um, I was gonna say, I really, I really don't know anyone that's gonna get the- play this game perfectly without dying achievement. I mean, there, I haven't even kept count of how many deaths I've had, but I mean, it's easily in the hundreds. And if I count both playthroughs, I mean, it's probably like something like 300 or something ridiculous. Okay, don't grab that. Any hoozles, we obviously need to hit this switch in the middle. Boop. No, don't hit it again. What the crap? I was, I'm stuck. There it goes. Oh, yeah, because that's my fault. I jumped down and he jumps like that because he's a goddamn idiot. I don't even, to be totally honest, I don't even know what hitting this switch does. It doesn't tell you. <laughs> you know, like everything else in the game, it doesn't tell you what it does, so... Fought! Ah! 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 Cuh! Oh, it probably turns off that laser beam. What? Can I just fall here? No. Woo! Don't ask me the proper way to do that. That's the way I'm gonna do it. Maybe you could roll off that to better success? I don't know. It's timed. It is timed. Why would they time this? Oh, there we go. Oh, you just gotta jump at the right moment. Go. I guess the well, the timer wasn't that bad, but that's still kind of weird. Here we go, the final section. Oh God, I can taste freedom. We're almost done. Ah! So yeah, he grabs you. He's gonna throw you. Typically won't die. I, I need this platform though, buddy. Yeah, uh, you will clip like a mofo through these these platforms. Don't worry about it. Uh, just as long as you're aiming generally towards them, you should be fine. Uh, yeah, lots of clipping here. You can see that. Don't just don't worry too much. Uh, sometimes you'll get lucky and he'll throw you to where you need to go. Yeah, throw up, up. Mm, that'll do, I suppose. Make the jump! So, uh, what you can try to do is you can try to make it all the way with your axe on the first try. I don't think it's worth it. It's very frustrating. I've gotten a little ways up with my axe. Like, you go back and grab it again. I've made it. Uh oh, that might be a death fall. Oh, no, I live. 
Um, I, I have made it a little ways up. But I find it generally easier just to come up here, do what you gotta do, and then go back for your axe. And doing what you gotta do involves standing here, stand right here, and let him throw you. You should hit the roof so you won't go very far. And then you come over here, and hit that. Hardy har har, you're dead. Because you aliens are stupid and you put devices in your ship that could kill you. Whoop. I mean, that's one thing I've. Balls. Yeah, so when you die in this part, you have to do the whole thing again. Really fun. Really great idea not to put a checkpoint after killing him. Uh, questionable. Questionable checkpoint placement, I would call that. Where's my axe? I, did it just clip it to that platform? I better be able to pick that up. I can't even pick up my axe. It clipped into that platform, I think. So that's how we solve that. I'm just gonna kill myself. That was great. I don't think I've had a, like a full-on glitch like that happen where I... That's game-breaking right there. You cannot lose your axe, you still need it for one more part. Do I still have it? I still have it. What is going on? This game is like glitching like a mofo all of a sudden. There it goes, I think. Alright, so we're gonna try climbing this again. So one thing about doing it this way where you... I figured I'd try to grab it. Oh. Throw me left! Oh, you bounced me. Like, like the human bouncy ball that I am. The one thing about doing it my way is you kind of have to memorize your your downward jumps. Because once again, because the camera won't pilt, pilt, tilt down for you, uh, it makes it very difficult to jump back down to get your axe. So you kind of have to memorize them. I have been trying to keep a track of him. Oh, darn it. Oh, he almost put me up there. I've been trying to keep track of him, but uh, to be totally honest, I might take a try or two. It's really trial and error. If you can't remember him, I mean, just try the jump. Come hither. Come hither and stand under your doom. Like any intelligent bad guy would. Ah! Oh. Laugh at your victory. Okay, don't hit the switch. You might have victory there. Herbert to her, you are dead. For freedom! Alright, so. What you wanna do is this, and this, and that. So like I said, this, this way is a little more time consuming, obviously, but it's infinitely easier in some regards. It's also, I, I would say it's a little safer, just from the fact that, uh, I, well, to be totally honest, I don't even know if he can throw you far enough to kill you. I'm imagining, like, there are angles where he, you can die. I've, I've died once, but it was because I rolled off of where he threw me. Like, when he threw me, I was holding down the down button. Okay, I believe we jump here. Yes, yes. And I believe we jump here. Yes. And then... We need to fall. I don't remember now which side. This side. Actually, either side would have worked. Now, where is my axe? I believe this is it right here. There we go. So now we just climb back up. I'm just gonna clip through that. That's fine. Son of a. Son of a. That's all I'm gonna say. And we're pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much, pretty much at the at the winning point here. Climbing back up shouldn't be too hard. I mean, if you've already done it once, just keep in mind that you're gonna clip like crazy, and uh, so some of your jumps may seem a little weird. But to be totally honest, you clip through tons of stuff in this game. Not a big issue. And there we go. We're almost there. Ah, uh, jump. Jump! Jump! 
like any normal person would do, jump in this situation. Ha! I am English parkour champion, Patrick Stewart. Woohoo! The alien disappeared, oh my goodness! So this is like the only reason we had to get the axe, it's really annoying actually. Just like punch it, like come on, Chuck Norris it or something, roundhouse kick, I don't know. So there's the doomsday device, so almost there. Almost there everybody, oh my goodness, I bet you there's cake in here. Where's my victory cake? Oh goodness! So all you want to do is just hold left on the joystick to crawl. That's not good victory cake. That is the worst surprise ever. So yeah, you just need to kind of crawl so far. You can see this guy is just like tentacling up it all over. He's just like, yeah. Yeah, what up? I just beat down a human. So you just gotta crawl so far. Um, then he comes back for it. He's like, whoa, this guy's starting to get close to my controls. I am, I'm a giant squid alien with three eyes, but I don't see this coming. Oh, wow, what was that? And then he runs way the past the you and then slides. Me. <laughs> the moment I thought I was still dreaming. Uh, ben, victory. My brother. I had been saved by the very man I had been looking for. I could barely believe my good fortune. Fate had intervened. From the very moment the Martians arrived, as soon as they drank and fed and breathed our air, Earth's microscopic allies began to overthrow them. From the outset, they were irrevocably doomed, dying and rotting even as they laid waste to our cities. Their systems were unprepared for the smallest of enemies that existed on our planet. Enemies to them, but our greatest protectors. Scattered around below me, some in their overturned war machines, stark and silent and laid in rows, were the Martian dead. Later, scientists unanimously agreed upon the cause in the cruelest of ironies, the Martians were forced to fight off their own hostile invaders, ones they had no hope of beating. These invaders were microscopic germs, bacteria that could not harm us, but which were lethal to them. The acrid black smoke began to lift, and London, that ancient, indestructible city, began to reappear. At first, it looked as it had just after the Blitz, the ragged ruins of Westminster, the streets cratered and filled with rubble, its buildings little more than hollow blackened shells, many of its people dead or wounded. But the population that remained rose up now and looked to the skies, still proud and resilient. I had found new strength within myself, just as I drew strength from them. I felt the power and warmth of their hope filling my heart, and I knew that things could never be the same. I would create new hope of my own with my beloved Emily. I would build a new future for my family and a new world. It would suck to go through all that and then she's like, I want a divorce. <laughs> That is it. We beat War of the Worlds, frustratingly. Good game with just poor mechanics, unfortunately. I do like some of it. I love Patrick Stewart. I love this song. And I did like the art style a bit. Unfortunately, the mechanics just really butcher what could be an amazing game. But that is it. I thank everyone for watching. And we will see everyone next time. On the next project here at XBLA Fans, I'm Mr. The Vest Man, and I'm out.